Tasmania is set to make net zero emissions by 2030 law. When it comes to greenhouse gas emissions, Tasmania is the envy of the world. It's a target that's already been achieved, thanks to Tasmania's hydroelectricity network and managed forests acting as a carbon sink. We've been net zero or negative in our greenhouse gas emissions for six out of the last seven years. That's left some confused. It's a bit like saying you're going to hand in your homework seven years after you've actually achieved your outcome. We've already reached it and you can't aim for something that you've already arrived at. The government says without action, Tasmania will go backwards. As our economy grows and as our population grows and as we expect to see more frequent intense bushfires, uh, our emissions profile is going to go up. This is a big wake-up call, I think, for the government that has not done enough to address the serious impacts of climate change. Land use and forestry emissions have fallen 188% since 1990, primarily due to the decline of the forestry industry. That's offset emissions from other sectors. While waste emissions and those from agriculture have also fallen, emissions from energy production and industrial processing have grown. The government asked for submissions on climate change regulations earlier this year. Most called for sector-based targets for emissions reductions, aimed at keeping the big polluters in line. Only the mining, forestry, cement and manufacturing industries were opposed. And the government's taken their side. What we need to arrive at is a 2030 target for Team Tasmania as a whole. Different sectors will have a different contribution to make. There is no commitment to mandating a reduction in emissions from, from transport, agriculture, uh, industrial processes. These are the things that we have to be doing uh, in a period of accelerating climate change. Hopes for more than just hot air. Alexandra Humphreys, ABC News.